My name is Lisa. I'm a stay-at-home wife living in a family of four with my kind husband, Alden, and my in-laws. For a while after we got married, we lived a leisurely life, just the two of us. However, Alden was always worried about his parents. Hey Lisa, what do you think about moving in with my parents? What? Moving in together all of a sudden? What's this about? To be honest, I'm worried about my parents, and I think we should save money. So, wouldn't we be able to save more money if we lived together, since we won't have to spend on rent? I gave in to Alden's insistence and we ended up staying with his parents for a while. I was anxious about living with them, but my father-in-law was always considerate. On the other hand, my mother-in-law. Lisa, there's dust here? Mother-in-law. I'm in the middle of cleaning. Oh Lisa, are you cleaning even such small details? Oh, uh, father. Oh, is mother here too? Are you helping with the cleaning? Well, I'm not exactly. Well, my mother-in-law is showing me how to do it. Is that so? Thank you always, Lisa. No, it's nothing. Oh, Lisa is a very thoughtful daughter-in-law, you see. It must be stressful being in your in-law's house, but you don't need to be so attentive, you know? Yes, that's right. You can relax more. Yes. In front of my father-in-law, my mother-in-law would act nicely, but when it was just the two of us, she would pick on me. Recently, Alden started siding with his mother and would join in criticizing me. My father-in-law continued to be considerate. I didn't want to worry him, so I kept these concerns to myself. Then, one day. Hey, Alden, I went to the bank today to update the passbook. The balance was almost zero, what's going on? Eh? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. It's our savings, so it had to be you, right? I was really surprised because I hadn't heard anything about it. I'm telling you, I don't know anything about it. So, are you saying my mother-in-law or father-in-law took it out and used it? That's impossible, right? Yeah, yeah, I used it. Happy now. What did you spend it on? It's my salary, I can spend it on whatever I want, right? Sure, you're the one earning the salary, but... You could at least tell me what you spent it on, right? Ah, uh, this is so annoying. You don't have to speak to me like that. That's because I just wanted to buy something I liked, that's all. When you want something, I wish you would at least discuss it with me. All right, all right. I'll do that next time. We're living together here to save money. When you want to spend money, please tell me, okay? Got it. You're so nagging and fussy. We can save money quickly, so let's drop this subject, okay? After saying that, Alden went to the living room. Lately, Alden has been coming home late frequently. Because of such things, my distrust grew, and I decided to consult someone about it. A few days later. Hey, I'm hungry, so hurry up, will you? Oh my, how can you make your husband wait when he's hungry? What a terrible wife to make him wait like this, really. Here you go, sorry for the wait, it's ready. Wait a minute. What is this? What do you mean? You said you wanted meat. Oh dear, what is this? Is this supposed to be food? Is this really something people eat? I'm not sure how it looks to you, but I've tasted it, and it's fine. It might taste good to someone with your peculiar taste, but if it's bad, it's meaningless. Serving something that looks like leftovers, don't mess around. Alden has been tired lately, and mother-in-law, you were concerned about calories, so... I made sure to consider the balance in the meal. Ha! Huh? Always quick to talk, aren't you? A woman who can't even do housework properly being a stay-at-home wife. As a wife, no, as a woman, you're utterly worthless. If you have any complaints, please tell me. If there's anything I can improve, I'm willing to work on it. The fact that you don't get it without being told shows how incompetent you are. Alden knows what he's talking about. What should I have made then? It's not about what you should have made. Really, you're so dense. For now, please eat today's meal. Alden, you should divorce this woman already. Maybe, you're right, Mom. Lisa, let's get a divorce. Fed up with their attitudes, I decided to move forward with a plan. A week later. Lisa, stop stalling and just get on with the divorce. Exactly. Your presence here is just a waste of money. Understood. I'll divorce. Oh, finally decided to get a divorce, huh? What a relief. The atmosphere in our house will be so much fresher now. Hey, you two. What kind of things have you been saying to Lisa? 
Why is dad here? Father, weren't you supposed to be out with friends today? What? Is there something inconvenient for you if I'm here? It's not like that, but... I've heard everything from Lisa. About the cleaning and the meals. It seems you two have been freely criticizing her. Me and mom haven't been doing anything like that. Exactly. You're just going to believe what Lisa says? I'm not lying. Then show us the proof. Yes, prove it. I have recordings of what you and mother-in-law said to me. Recordings? Why would you have that? Father-in-law has already listened to them. Really? Instead of being grateful? It's astounding how you can complain so much every day. I had been gathering evidence of the harassment I faced as a daughter-in-law, aiming for a divorce. Once Alden and my mother-in-law learned of this. Ek talking seriously is becoming such a hassle. Yeah, yeah. Both mom and I have been giving Lisa a hard time. What do you mean giving a hard time? If this were a company, it would be a huge issue. It's the same at home. Oh, come on, father. You're just too sweet on Lisa. From my perspective as a senior in homemaking, Lisa's housework is less than child's play. What do you mean less than child's play? The house is spotless every day. Dad, you're being deceived by Lisa. What would I gain by deceiving father-in-law? I've been doing everything I'm supposed to in this house. But when there's no room for discussion, what choice do I have? Moreover, it was you two who suggested divorce. So what if we did? A useless daughter-in-law is just a nuisance. After all the housework she's done, you say this. Come on, Dad. Don't get so heated. Didn't she do everything for you even before you moved in here? How should I know? It's Lisa who lacks value as a wife, right? So, you cheated because I'm not attractive? What? I would never cheat. Just because you're about to get divorced, don't make up desperate lies. You used the savings you took out without asking on that person, didn't you? I told you, I spent the money on something I wanted. Stop playing dumb. What are you talking about? Release her. Ha! Sana! Why are you here? And who is this man? While we were talking, my friend Noah appeared with Sana. Alden and my mother-in-law seemed surprised. This is my friend Noah, who is a detective. And the woman Noah brought with him is Sana, Alden's affair partner. Alden, you? You've been having an affair with this woman while married to Lisa? No, I haven't. She's just a friend. Right? Alden wouldn't have an affair. It's unthinkable. Then why is your affair partner here? It must be some mistake. I'm a competent detective, so there's no mistake in my investigation. What a terrible old lady. Did you just call me an old lady? Hey, why did you bring me here? Sana is just an old friend. Don't bring her here over some ridiculous misunderstanding. Here, these are the photos of you cheating with her. It's surprising how much evidence there is. It just shows how often Alden was meeting this woman. What is this? I told you, I'm a detective. Lies. No one works as a detective these days. Apologize to all the detectives in the country. How could something that started recently find anything? Started recently. Private detectives have been around since 1895. Eck, that must be another one of your lies. It seems my mother-in-law won't admit anything. This is probably something you forged. I don't have the skills to do that. If I did that, it would be fabricating evidence. Anyway, I'm telling you I didn't have an affair. Alden, if you're a man, admit what you did. Father, if Alden says he didn't do it, that should be enough. Alden, and even my mother-in-law who was clueless, sided with Alden. However, there was his affair partner and numerous evidence photos right in front of them. As I was observing whether he would continue to squirm. I really didn't cheat. She's just a friend. So you guys have no right to lecture me. That's so mean. Weren't we in a relationship? Eh, wait, Sana, be quiet. Just shut up for a bit. Why should I be quiet? You were the one who confessed your love to me. So, Alden made the first move? I never did such a thing. Stop making excuses like a wimp. Unbelievable. You often came to visit me after work. And you kept giving me all sorts of gifts, didn't you? I see, so that's where the savings went. Alden, wasn't the whole point of moving in together to save money? That's why I said it's fine because we can save up again quickly, right, Lisa? It's a different story if you're spending money on an affair, isn't it? Ugh, so annoying. Alden is such a liar. Uh, a liar? His mom being sick, his dad being hospitalized. And he said he was lonely because there was no one at home. 
so he'd come to my place. Aldon would do that. He even told me his mother was on her deathbed to gain sympathy from me. Yeah, there are people who lie like that to garner pity. Wow, so mother-in-law, you're supposedly on your deathbed? Yet she can make such a fuss. Alden wouldn't say something like that. He has the look of someone who would say exactly that. You're quite the gentleman, being a friend of Lisa's. I can't compete with your classiness, though. Sana exposed Alden in front of everyone. Alden had fabricated stories about his parents being sick or injured to gain Sana's sympathy, reminiscent of a child making excuses to skip school. Embarrassed by his secrets being revealed, Alden reacted. Stop blabbering unnecessary things. Ha! Huh. You were the one who said those things, crying and saying, my mom has always been so kind, and stuff like that. Stop it! I didn't say it like that. You've got some nerve. Both your parents are perfectly healthy. They're healthy now, that's what I mean. Both my mother-in-law and father-in-law are indeed very healthy and active. See, you were lying. You're the worst. Stop dredging up the past. Enough, be quiet. Eek. Why am I getting yelled at? Alden's dad is so scary, why? You're having an affair and bad-mouthing your parents behind their backs. What are you thinking? You have a wife who agreed to move in and is working hard at household chores. Well, that may be true, but... Just so you know, it's rare to find a wife like Lisa. Any wife can do what she does. Normally, wives would object to the idea of living together with in-laws. Despite everything, Lisa has been doing her best every day. You're fooling around with another woman, and your mother isn't doing anything more than she used to at home. Stop taking advantage of Lisa's kindness. I was just giving advice. Yeah, yeah, the so-called harassment of the daughter-in-law. How dare you say that? You probably were saying things like, look at this dust here, right? Impressive how you can guess without seeing it. It's obvious. Anyone could guess that. Alden and Sana ended up arguing. But the more Alden retorted, the more his faults were revealed. The mother-in-law, on her part, seemed shocked to learn she had been portrayed as a sick person behind her back. However, it was clear that Alden had been lying to Sanaa and carrying on a relationship with her. Then please, the three of you can talk or do whatever you want. I will divorce, as you wished. Wait a minute. Maybe Lisa and Alden shouldn't get a divorce after all. What are you even saying now? Now that I think about it, Who's going to take care of me if Lisa isn't here? You should take care of yourself. It's your own responsibility. Just so you know, I will be claiming alimony. I've already consulted a lawyer I know. A lawyer? Yes. It's about money, so we need to handle it properly. Money? What's this about alimony? I won't be able to have fun anymore. If you want to have fun so much, why don't you get a job at an amusement park? Wait. Do I have to pay alimony too? Obviously. You don't seem to get it, but Lisa is determined to go through with the divorce. So, you're really going to divorce me? Yes, I'm divorcing you. I can't stand to share the same air with you anymore. Isn't that a bit too harsh? I don't ever want to see your face again, either. Oh, right, father-in-law, you also wanted a divorce, didn't you? Yes, that's right. I'm divorcing your mother as well. Not just me but also my mother-in-law was told by my father-in-law that he wanted a divorce. Then, the three who had been throwing insults until now. Why do I have to be divorced too? Because I don't need a wife who does nothing and is incompetent. Talk about a boomerang effect. Wait, Lisa, let's not divorce, let's stay married. I refuse. Father, please reconsider the divorce. I'll treat Lisa properly from now on. It's unnecessary because I'm getting a divorce. Now you can freely be with that woman, isn't that great? If I have to pay alimony, I won't be able to live. Wait, please. I'm begging you, please don't divorce me, forgive me. You were the one who wanted the divorce first, so be happy your wish is granted. I'll send the official documents later, make sure to sign them. Thus, through a lawyer acquaintance of Noah, I demanded alimony from Alden, my mother-in-law, and Sanaa. Soon after, I officially divorced Alden, and my mother-in-law was divorced by my father-in-law. Alden was planning to leave all the household chores to me while he freely indulged in affairs. My mother-in-law intended to make me do all the chores while she lazed around, and Sana planned to marry Alden someday and live a leisurely life as a housewife. However, 
Their dreams of an ideal life were shattered as they had to work every day to pay the alimony. They had no time to relax, only work, with their days filled with the monotony of going to and from their jobs without any enjoyment. Thus, the three of them led a miserable life, working from morning to night as a consequence of their actions. As for me… Wow, so your dad's good at housework. He's amazing. He even makes his own tomato sauce and stores it. This is meat sauce made with my special tomato sauce. Wow, that looks delicious. It's just an old man's cooking, but please eat as much as you like. Then I won't hold back. Thank you. It's delicious. It's like eating at a restaurant. There's dessert after the meal too. My relationship with my father-in-law remained strong even after the divorce. When I met Noah again to express my gratitude, the two of us hit it off and now it has become a habit for the three of us to occasionally enjoy my father-in-law's home cooking. Perhaps doing the right thing eventually leaves you with good connections. I've had this realization several times since the divorce. My single life is starting again, but I feel like things will go better from now on. There's no concrete basis for this feeling, but I plan to live each day with a smile, doing my best in all I can. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.